Last week I made a video about glycerol and how I just don't think powdered glycerol is worth taking at all and that includes it already being included in your pre-workouts. Today I'm going to explain exactly why I feel that way. Alright, to help you guys visualize why liquid glycerol is that much better than powdered glycerol, I just want to show you that for every serving that's in here at 6 grams, you get 3.9 grams of actual glycerol, right? Now to get 23 grams per serving like the liquid here, it's going to take 5.89 servings just to get you equal to this. So we'll call it six scoops just for simplicity. So that is 23 grams of glycerol. And at six scoops, you're getting 36 total grams of active ingredients. When you break down a pre-workout label, are you even getting 36 grams of actives in there? Usually not. Nobody wants to take this much powder for pre-workout. Let alone this is just one ingredient. What about the citrulline, the caffeine, the stimulants, uh, the nootropics, and everything else that's in a product? So if you really want to make the best pre-workout that you can get, I would actually avoid glycerol within the product itself and just buy it separately. At a much higher dose, you're going to have way better effects. It's going to help with the performance, with the muscle hydration, which is what glycerol does. And it's overall going to give you a much better pump than any product that has glycerol in it. It just doesn't make sense. Find a pre-workout that doesn't already have glycerol in it. It's probably going to be less expensive. And in turn, you can complement it with something like this.